What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel that is PC Tech, Games and Gear. And today we're talking about the future or the solution or maybe a combination of the two. So right now we're in the world of crypto mining where GPUs um, simply aren't available. I actually released a video um, on so a couple of quick tips uh, just recently on how to get a hold of a GPU if you're a gamer. Check that out if you haven't already. Maybe if you are a gamer, you'll be able to get a hold of one. Hopefully that'll be helpful to you. Uh, but we're entering this world of integrated graphics. Now this is not anything new. Uh, we've had integrated graphics for Intel for a very, very long time, but it was really just kind of a minimum requirement, you know, for someone who just wanted a computer who was going to be browsing the internet and didn't need anything strong graphically. It wasn't ever meant to replace a dedicated graphics card in terms of performance. Now, we are starting to see more integrated solutions than ever before. Uh, you know, on the Ryzen side of things, we're now seeing with Zen, uh, the Zen Refresh, uh, their new, uh, you know, Zen Refresh architecture partnered up with Vega um, for these new APUs that are going to be coming out here in the next couple of months. And they already have released for the mobile variants on YouTube. You can look at some of those benchmarks already. And it doesn't perform half bad. And then in an unprecedented move, um, the head of the uh, basically Radeon group, at least for the graphics department, um, uh, Raja Kaduri, left Radeon AMD and went to Intel to create this new Intel AMD hybrid that um, is supposedly going to perform pretty dang well. Now, the reason I'm bringing these things up is because with GPU shortages and cryptocurrency, uh, you know, probably not going anywhere, honestly. I was trying to think of how's, how can I provide value to viewers? How can I, you know, what would be a, a creative solution? But I think that the market is kind of already going there. And whether this was by design or whether it is, you know, foresight on the uh, part of these companies, it, we're starting to see more solutions that don't require you to have either a high end graphics card or potentially no graphics card at all, which brings me to GeoForce now. So NVIDIA. Um, it's currently crushing it in terms of high-end, you know, graphics card, the high-end graphics card market. Um, you know, with Vega, I'm going to have a video kind of on my thoughts on that. Uh, AMD wasn't really able to compete. That's not to say by any means that Vega was bad. It's just that Intel still holds the, you know, holds the trophy for the very highest end of graphics that you can buy. Uh, but they've become kind of a whole new company over the last couple of years was focusing with things like computation and especially in AI. Um, you know, dry, working um, to create driverless uh, solutions um, in a kind of a Tesla-esque um, way. And so we're seeing different things come out of the company than just kind of a graphics card uh, based around, you know, consumers for gamers and uh, content creators. But they have come up with this idea. And it's right now, it's in open beta called GeoForce Now. And essentially what it is, is just banks and banks and banks of graphics cards providing the computational power you would need to run a game and that being basically sent to you through a cloud or a landline and if you don't understand kind of how all that works I have a very scientific drawing that I put together that might be able to help you it's science so basically guys what this means is you could take pretty much any old laptop any old desktop um, pay for this service and the computational power you need to run these games will be sent directly through the cloud and through your direct internet connection to your computer. So imagine that your computer is just basically a really, really, really far away monitor for the actual system that is running the game. And I believe that that's actually where we might end up going. We might as a consumer base, as a community, get away from dedicated graphics cards and let, you know, um, as far as like for the mainstream and move to these APU solutions, very similar to how consoles are uh, set up. And NVIDIA truly believes that graphics cards eventually will be able to do everything and more that a CPU can do. And so we're kind of in this space and I honestly don't know how I feel about it. I'm not a PC elitist necessarily, but I am an enthusiast and I'm definitely a purist because if you've ever played on a really good computer versus any console, uh, the PC is going to knock it out of the park every single time. That doesn't mean that consoles are bad at what they do. They're actually a very affordable way to game, but I mean, that's just kind of my filter that I see things through. 
And what's tough for me is I don't know how I would feel about losing graphics cards. Typically, they're kind of the showcase um, of your PC. You know, the, the thing that you get the most excited about is your shiny new graphics card. And so it would have to be kind of a shift in what we're kind of willing to give up. And obviously the performance from these integrated solutions would have to increase drastically for most PC gamers to even consider doing it. But we're, we're getting there. That's the thing is that with this off-site solution to gaming, you're, I think what we're going to see is a lot of casual people, um, you know, and when I say casual, I mean maybe lower tier, mid tier gamers who want to, you know, they want to game on a PC, but you know what? Maybe they don't want to buy the hardware. Maybe they don't want the risk. Maybe they don't want to have spend as much time learning. Simplification is always the best way a company can make their product you know more available to more people if i'm uh let's say i'm a console gamer right and i want to get into pc gaming i watch all the youtube videos i want to i'm like ah, oh, i want to build my own rig i want to do my own thing and uh, kind of put something together but then i have this other solution where it's like well i've got this you know eight-year-old laptop from college and uh, it still turns on and i'd love to be able to game but i just don't know if i want to you know spend all these hundreds of dollars and upgrades but wait I could just pay a subscription fee of maybe three, four hundred dollars a year, you know, and then I could have access to 60 FPS 4K gaming right away. That's what we're talking about. And then if these APU and integrated graphics solutions continue to get more powerful, then we may very well over a short period of time, short being relative three to five years, reach a point where we no longer need dedicated graphics cards to play anything or where CPUs and GPUs combine and mesh into you know, a completely new uh, product or architecture that doesn't really uh, need one or the other, but it has one you know, integrated solution. It's absolutely possible, guys. So none of this means anything in the moment right now. It still sucks that you can't get a hold of a GPU, and who knows how many years out these uh, solutions are as far as becoming kind of the mainstream or the standard, but it's definitely food for thought because I absolutely believe we're going there. And um, as a PC guy who loves to build computers, put them together, and who wants to grow this community of PC enthusiasts, uh, I definitely don't know how I feel about it from a personal perspective because uh, it would change everything that, uh, not everything, but it would change a lot of what I love to do, which is building computers and you know getting my new graphics card, all those kind of things. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down but get subscribed. My channel is growing um, again, uh, 1,000 subscribers guys, and I'm doing a giveaway even if it's out of my own pocket. I just, I wanna continue to grow and I wanna, you know, again, uh, anybody who supports me or puts their time and energy into watching my videos, I wanna take care of. So let's make this year awesome. Let's keep driving forward. We hope to see you next time here on Geared Inc.